some people struggle to keep their GPUs cool, others struggling to choose between Nvidia and AMD, as if it was a green and red pill choice. You take the Nvidia pill, and you get a lot more features. You take the AMD pill, and you will get more FPS per dollar. And I'll show you how deep to Lisa Sue's butthole goes. Yes. Drink that poison. Now let's go. Hello Internet. This 3090 Founders Edition came in for repair after unsuccessful liquid metal application. According to the customer, liquid metal accidentally leaked under the core and the card no longer works. Which is great for two reasons. One, after watching this video, many of you would likely avoid using liquid metal and use good quality thermal paste instead. And two, I get to make a video about it, get your likes and comments, so it's a win-win for both. Hopefully you'll enjoy this repair. With the card taken apart, let's take some basic measurements to make sure that the card is not completely dead. These measurements can be found in my Discord server, if you ever need them. Looks like the resistance and voltages look good, and while I'm at it, I'll check the power stages to make sure that everything is nice and clean, and it is. With that done, it is now safe to power the card by the PC by pressing the like collecting button. No picture from 3090, so let's take the HDMI cable and plug it into the motherboard instead, so that we can run a memory test. Ok, the memory test has failed, and no wonder. Even Windows Device Manager says we have an error code 43. According to the report, it says that we have a problem with two chips. Under normal circumstances, having two failed chips is impossible, which means the problem is not the memory. And since the owner mentioned liquid metal spill, my guess is it dripped somewhere in this area here, and that means only one thing. We need to lift the core and both of these memory chips, clean everything up and try again. Before I start, I wanted to take a quick visual inspection and it looks like the card is coated with some kind of a film. And if we were to look under the core, it is clearly contaminated with some kind of a liquid metal. So let's take care of that and see if that helps.
energy ball is complete. Let's perform some basic sanity check, such as resistances and, most importantly, voltage. Sometimes things break during the heat cycle, so it's best to check that now. Everything looks good. Let's boot this thing by the PC and see if we get a picture this time. Alright, we have a picture. Now let's put this thing back together real quick. And I mean real quick. This video is like 10,000% speed so you don't get bored. Plug it in and off we go with the heat test. When I was about to celebrate, screen went black and the card does not produce an image after reboot. Okay? Okay. Let's run a memory test and see what's going on. I suspect that one of the pads that looked like it was affected by the liquid metal the most may be the one to blame. And yep. According to the report, that theory makes perfect sense. Huh? Since we already have a fresh leaded solder under the chip, we don't need to reball it, we'll just reflow the core using a different flux, and that will solve the problem by creating another problem. And the problem that it will create is that I'll have to get that flux from under the core using an ultrasonic bath. Which at this point was already done, so I proceeded with the assembly, and the same heat test as before, which has passed as expected. A few more tests here and there, and we have a fix. I hope you guys have learned something today, and if so, please hit me with a like, comment below and subscribe for more repairs. Goodbye.